Drawing a clock may seem like a trivial task, but it can reveal a great deal about the way your brain is functioning and even indicate a problem like dementia. It's one example of a cognitive test which we use to assess abilities like memory and attention. Now, these kind of abilities are often affected after damage to the brain, such as after a stroke. A stroke is caused either when the blood vessel gets blocked, preventing oxygen reaching the brain, or when a blood vessel bursts and bleeds out. Up to 80% of stroke patients experience memory and thinking problems, and up to 30% develop dementia. Currently, stroke patients in different hospitals are assessed very differently, with some patients not being assessed at all. If we don't assess patients whilst they're in hospital, there's a chance that problems will go undetected, with a patient being sent home unsupported. However, stroke patients are difficult to assess. Many have physical, visual and communication problems, which makes a cognitive test challenging. Also, in the context of a busy hospital stroke unit, long detailed tests are not appropriate. We need shorter, yet still efficient tests in this early stage. So my research aims to address this by seeing how well a range of different tests, such as drawing a clock, detects memory and thinking problems after a stroke. And I'm doing this by assessing almost 350 stroke patients. I first assess them whilst they're in hospital, just days after their stroke, and I complete some short tests. I then test them again four more times over a period, period of 18 months using more detailed assessments. This allows us to see how memory and thinking problems change over time following a stroke. So I asked patients to draw me a clock as one part of the assessment. Even this very simple task alone produces an array of results. So Jane has written the numbers in a reverse order, whereas David has written all the numbers down one half of the clock, leaving the other side completely blank. Different clocks and different errors, but both signs of spatial and attentional problems. Interestingly, similar areas of their brains, areas responsible for these abilities, were affected by their strokes. Now, John is an example of how a physical problem affects assessment. His stroke left the right side of his body very weak and he struggled to hold a pen. This is reflected in his clock, which is barely legible. Now, my time's almost up, but hopefully you've learned a bit about how short, simple tests, like drawing a clock, can provide insight into how our brains are ticking over. Thank you.